Okay. So again, now that we um, have talked about just at a high level, what does that look like? What do these messages with these periodic check-ins actually look like? So I want us to go through them and we're going to be going through the scheduled messages. But before we do that, I want to um, just outline the difference between scheduled messages and quick replies. So if you have already been within the Airbnb app, Tina, for you, this might sound a little familiar just because you've seen these features, but your scheduled messages are messages that are actually going to trigger automatically. So this is one way that you're able, again, to continue automating that listing. They're going to trigger automatically upon a certain thing being done with the guest, right? So for instance, this can be upon booking, upon check-in, upon checkout, right? Those are when that's happening. And it pretty much helps you to automate the communication and the hospitality side of being a host because you can make them very personable, right? Automatically, they'll send and they'll be personal and include their name, their dates and all of that. But it's an opportunity for you also to, again, continue communicating upsells as well. So before they even get to asking, hey, we also offer, um, you know, late checkout if you're interested is $20 an hour. Let us know 12 hours before your reservation. Um, so that is what scheduled messages are. And we're about to run through just the different, the eight points that you should be having um, within your listing and your host profile to make sure that you're actually hitting everything you need to hit in managing those guest expectations. Your quick replies, on the other hand, these are messages, again, that you're going to pre-populate, but they don't send automatically. You're going to send them when somebody asks you like a frequently asked question. This is what the, these replies are for, meaning that if people continuously ask for like the Wi-Fi information, you already have a message that has it written out. They ask where to park, you already have a message written out. Or if they ask how to work a specific thing that many guests have been asking, you already have that pre-written out. So again, these are frequently asked questions and it just helps so that you won't have to type that same information multiple times for multiple guests. Um, so this again is gonna include lockout information. Like if that's if you constantly, every three, four guests, you're realizing somebody has an issue getting into your keypad, include lockout information, that message saying, hey, you can find our lockbox located here. The code to it is this, this is how you get in. That is going to be the way that you can quickly communicate that information without them having to go look for it and without you having to type it out numerous times for different guests. Okay, so again, these scheduled messages, right? The scheduled messages that you have, um, which we call the eight, the eight must have points of communication with your guests. Um, so there should be a message that you send upon inquiry. So I'm gonna show you all examples of all of these and also where you can find them in the Facebook group. But upon inquiry or request, meaning that they've sent an inquiry, hey, I'm interested in booking, you have a message for that. They're actually booking, right? Once they actually book, you're sending a message when they actually book. You're then sending another message two days before they get there, helping them to get excited to come, right? Because you want them to be excited to stay at your place because this is helping you to build up to prepare for them to leave you a really good review. At the morning of checking, you wanna send another message reminding them, hey, if you don't already know, here's the address real quick, we're gonna send you, because if you don't send a message the morning of, most likely you are gonna get messages from the guests around like, I don't know, one or two o'clock, like, hey, I still haven't received this information. That morning of message helps you to communicate. You are going to receive the information you need at 3 p.m it is automatically gonna be sent. You need to send a message up on action check-in time, so at 3 p.m., 24 hours after check-in, and then the morning that they check out, you should also send a message reminding them what they need to do before they leave, and then 48 hours after they leave. And this is now reminding them, hey, thanks again for staying with us, right? And I'm gonna give y'all some information um, when we get into that message, but this is also a place where as you are building up, because I tell all of you, build up to the point of direct booking. Build up to a point of you won't have to use Airbnb as the middleman. They're not going to take money off of top. So in this 48-hour message, what we've also starting, started including is, hey, thanks so much for staying with us. If you have not already, please leave a review. And if you enjoyed your stay that much, next time you come, feel free to book with us direct. Just drop your email address and we'll have it within our database and you'll receive more information about how to book direct with us. So that at the very least, you're starting to create, again, a database of people that if Airbnb ever cuts you off, you got people that you can reach out to. 
You got people who have already booked, who love they, their stay, and they'll be able to book directly with you. And now you don't have to pay a fee to Airbnb and neither do that. And there you're in that message, letting them know you, you'll actually receive a discounted price if you book directly with us. Understand that to them, it is a discounted price because they have to pay Airbnb. So whatever you're getting, that's still after you've now paid Airbnb too. So it's gonna be discounted either way, even if you give them the same payout amount that you had for their reservation before and it was the same amount of days, you are going to be able, you're still gonna be able to get that same amount of payout and it's gonna seem like a discount to them because they didn't have to pay Airbnb. Okay. 